to the Superstar lineup. The weekend, ASAP Rocky and Coldplay's Chris Martin join a weekend of headliners. Big Sean. Camila Cabello. Doja Cat. Dua Lipa. Gwen Stefani. Palsy. Posey. Keith Evans. New Kids on the Block. Paramore. The Black Crows. Thomas Shred. Victoria Monet. Our 2024 iHeartRadio Music Festival in Las Vegas. Get your tickets now at AXS.com. Hey, Brenda, two carts again, huh? Shopping for office and shopping for home. One for the office, one for me. What about those? One for the office, the rest for me. Square and final. Where else? Tonight is one of Hollywood's biggest nights. We have live coverage of all the glitz and glamour of the 76th Emmy Awards. Our own Dana Devon is live for us as she gets ready to talk to the stars on the red carpet. And we are waking up to low clouds and fog. Not the case for the desert and mountains. We could see some rain several days this week. We'll talk about that coming up. Oh, I love this. Watch out. There's a new internet star. One baby hippo has become a viral meme for her unique looks and her quirky personality. We'll introduce you to Mudang and her little ears. Stay tuned. And that's right. Tonight is Emmy's Big Night, where Hollywood's hottest stars celebrate TV excellence. And we're going to get you ready for the 76th Annual Primetime Emmy Awards. Plus, we have a giveaway. No, that was, oh, oh that I was good, that was, no, that was my, it. no, that's why I was an actor for a long time. That's like, wait for it, what's he going to say? And that's and why you're doing swoosh. entertainment now on KTLA. <laughs> Love they you. Swoosh on him. Oh, good morning and welcome to the KTLA Weekend Morning News at nine o'clock. I'm Lauren Lister. I mean, like Elsie's shuffling with his slippers. He really thinks yeah, he's just kicking back. I love it on a Sunday. Everyone should be comfy right now. That's Agree? true. We only have one hour left. We're off the air a little early today, so ten o'clock. We're off the air. I'm Megan. Tell us good morning, Casey. It was windy at the top of last hour. Yeah. In your shot. Now this is now picturesque. it looks like Dylan. Oh, look at that. I want to move so you can look at that. Even look real. Absolutely gorgeous from our Mount Wilson camera. I think that's a Wilson camera, isn't it? Uh, so if I'm wrong, someone will tell me. It could be something else. Uh, but temperatures today, we're going to notice a difference. Cooler and even cooler to start the work week. But Drizzle can't rule it out over the next several hours. 67 right now at LAX. It's 64 in Burbank, 69 in Santa Ana, and it is 64 in Ontario. And as far as cloud coverage, well, we did see a lot of that spreading into the Inland Empire, Santa Clarita Valley, and that will take a little bit longer to clear than what it did yesterday. Beach communities, especially for Ventura County, uh, it'll take a while before you see the clearing this afternoon and just know we are going to see some light shower activity in the morning highs this afternoon it'll be 80 in chino 73 for long beach today 80 in santa clarita uh, and it'll be 83 in palmdale back to you Casey, thank you for the update there. Now to this, we begin with developing news in San Bernardino. A triple fatal crash is under investigation there. According to CHP, four cars crashed late last night just before 1130. It all happening on the northbound lanes of the 215 freeway near University Parkway. Emergency responders say they arrived and found three people dead at the scene. Two of them in the road, the other still inside a vehicle. Two other people were taken to the hospital with unknown injuries. And we don't know if speed or DUI were a factor in the crash, but we will bring you any information we get as this investigation continues. And this morning, the growth of the line fire in San Bernardino County has slowed. It's burned more than 38,000 acres. The fire is now 36% contained, up from 29% yesterday. One structure has been destroyed and three others have been damaged. Three people have been injured. The cause has been determined to be arson. Evacuation orders are still in place for several mountain areas. Meantime, the bridge fire is sitting at more than 54,000 acres burned. Just 9% containment. Crews still working on strengthening those containment lines. We're told the northwest corner of the fire was the most active yesterday, and crews are attacking it with helicopter drops. The east side of the fire, less active, but evacuation orders are still in effect for the Mount Baldy area. This fire has burned 19 structures and damaged six more. 11,000 are still threatened. At least two people have been hurt. And crews say the recent stretch of cool weather is helping them battle this blaze. 
a lot happening locally, disrupting, you know, the comfort of our local yeah. viewers, oh, yes, whether it's fires or now utility cutoffs. They're expanding in rolling hills amid ongoing landslide fears. Gas is going to be turned off to 35 homes tomorrow. KTLA's Gene Kang is live in rolling hills with more on the indefinite shutdown. And Gene, this is all about the land movement that's going on, right? Yeah, unfortunately, even though Rolling Hills is not under a landslide, it's because they are a neighboring area. So they possibly could have their gas and their power shut off in moments, in coming hours. So, so this is the added frustration. I have been talking to neighbors who say they're well aware of this. This is the gated community right behind me on Quail Ridge Road. Let's take a look at this video. Uh, of course, when you have your power and gas shut off and those utilities, those are necessities. And I'm hearing that a lot of these people who live in the area are senior citizens. Citizens. SoCal Gas says they will be shutting off services to 35 homes in Rolling Hills on Monday at around 3 p.m. due to ongoing land movement in Palos Verdes in that area. They've been deemed no longer safe to use natural gas. This includes nine homes on Cinching Road and nine homes on Portuguese Bend Road. Additionally, Southern California Edison has informed 51 homeowners that power will be turned off. Southern California Edison has advised some residents that their power will be shut off indefinitely by Wednesday night. However, that timeline could move up earlier with outages possible at any time. In the meantime, the city is urging these utility companies to please explore engineering solutions to maintain services while ensuring public safety. And take a look over in the nearby Rancho Pelos Verdes area. It's been hard hit impacting roughly 200 homes. The landslide caused homes to collapse or tear apart. We've been talking to cyclists in Rolling Hills this morning, including Bill, who says he's devastated for those affected, and the owner of a restaurant who says she and her husband have been doing everything they can to try and help neighbors. Many of them, once again, are senior citizens. How do you feel for your neighbors? It's just very sad. You don't, it's uh, unexpected, you know, they don't, there's not much of a notice. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, you feel for the people so much. How has it been, just knowing that the neighbors on that side, it's a quite an unfortunate situation. It really is. It, it, it's really upsetting to the community. I can't imagine feeling displaced like that. It really, you know, and we've been taking sandwiches over there. We are trying to do what we can. We've donated solar lights. Um, and now to hear that it is now creeping even more further is, it's, it's a scary thing and it's it's a very sad thing because I can't imagine being in my house yeah. and not having power or gas. Is that right? Yeah. Well, she's doing everything she can. As you see in this video, Alex is talking to cyclists and folks that are out and about this morning, really feeling for their neighbors during such difficult times. Now, back out here live, uh, we know that Governor Gavin Newsom has said that this is a state of emergency, so that means that state funds could be coming to help all of these people but as you heard from there a lot of these folks who live uh, outside of this gated community say they are just heart heartbroken this morning and that's the very latest here from rolling hills gene kang ktla 5 news back to you yeah we can certainly understand why gene thank you so much for that all right now to the big entertainment story yeah, we're talking about the Emmys live with the Levies. Father-son <laughs> duo Eugene and Dan Levy are going to be hosting the 76th Emmy Awards tonight. How fun is that? Yes, I like that. It just all kind of clicked. The Emmys with the Levies. They could oh, have yeah. changed the graphic and it's just like the Levies. I like that. Yes, that's a good idea. <laughs> Our team will be live on the red carpet starting at 3 p.m., so hours from now. But right now, we want to check back in with our girl, Dana Devin, as she gets ready. Last hour, if you missed it, she had this hair dryer situation. Oh, my on. gosh. Somehow the hair got bigger. What is <laughs> happening under there? And you have Anya Sar, our station stylist, I like to call her, with us uh, today on green, which is beautiful. You're in pink, the same PJ set. And our fabulous makeup artist, Kelly <gasps> Williams. Kelly! Good morning, everyone. Good Emmy morning. It is Emmy Sunday. It is TV's biggest night. We're here with Kelly, who is doing hair and makeup today. Obviously, Anya Sar. We're at the JW Marriott, which is just steps from the red carpet. And right now, though, it is preparations. It is glam, glam, glam. And you know, when you look at me, that's what you see. You see all glam all the time. Look, I actually feel like, I've, I, I feel like I'm really close to being ready. 
We're getting there. <laughs> you've made some progress. Thank Martha you for Washington. Thank you for changing. You've made progress, but we've got a lot to go. A lot of a lot of steps to go to get her glam for the red carpet. Well, you know what is funny? I was packing up this morning at like five in the morning, and I was throwing all my makeup and stuff in my bag. And Anya's all about solutions. So here's the problem, Anya. The problem is I have all this stuff shoved into my bag, and I get my makeup everywhere. You drop it, it breaks. And by the way, there's good news at the end of this because there's giveaways today. But you drop your makeup, it's shatters and whatever what is the solution okay well not only do you drop it everywhere but you also get your hands yeah. all dirty and messed up don't even get me started on eyeliners and lip yep. liners when you reach in there so i have the solution okay Kay. this is the peach skin sheets four in one wow. makeup bag now this Cute. keeps you organized for someone like you who has stuff everywhere <laughs> so there's four different compartments for it okay this opens and you can even put your makeup brushes in here oh. so you never lose it the good news is, right now, you can get one of these free with any set or row Ooh. purchase. All of this. All of this. Over $50 at peachskinsheets.com. Just use my code GLAM for that. GLAM. And that's, that's the duvet set, the comforter set, the sheet set, or the world-famous robe that you have right here. Oh, my god! So this is going to keep you organized, always on the go. Oh, fantastic. Okay, the other problem. So you always want to bring your makeup brushes, but you know, they've got makeup on them so they get whatever bag is dirty. So what do you do for that? Okay, here's the solution. These are the on-the-go peach skin.